In a previous video, I recreated an old embossed metal plaque out of cardstock and epoxy. And as some of you may already know, I've been working on a second machine, and I've been tasked with creating a similar plaque to go right here. But A, as you can see, this metal looks a lot different than last time, and two, or B, I have a CNC machine now. So I'm gonna try something different this time. Let's get started.
So let me explain what's going on here. Uh, firstly, I apologize once again for the fan noise. I actually have two fans going right now. It's that time of year. It's hot. Sorry. As for this, well, I'm sure somebody out there is asking, why didn't I just run screws through the front? Well, one reason. Screws don't look like rivets. It's an old machine. I wanted to maintain that, uh, that older look, so I wanted rivets on the front. Purely aesthetic. And I wanted to screw it in through the back just to make it more easily removed. The technique of super gluing these studs into the aluminum like this, I've actually used that technique before. Uh, you may have seen me do it in the video on my Art Deco control panel. But if I remember correctly, that was actually in quarter inch thick aluminum. So I was able to drill more deeply and I got a lot better hold with the, the glue. Uh, here it's just not working and I'm not going to keep trying. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill these rivets out and I'm going to actually rivet it together. Hopefully these holes aren't too big. I think the rivets I have will still work, but uh, well, all we can do is try it. Would have been dumb. Nope. These holes are too big. Balls. So straight riveting it didn't work, but these rivets did expand enough that they stayed in these holes while still sticking out the back quite a bit, which gave me a new idea. I got some number four screws chopped the heads off of those, and then I very carefully drilled out the center of these rivets, essentially creating a little tube. The idea was the extra depth would provide enough grip that gluing in the number four studs would hold. Well, that didn't work either. But after pacing around the shop for a while and digging through my bins, I got another new idea. I found some little countersunk number six screws I realized I could just use those to fasten the plate on. They would be flush with the face, and then I could cut these heads off of these rivets, which, as luck would have it, are the same diameter as the heads of these. Then I'll just glue those on the face. Let's try that. Well, that was a long way to go to fake a couple of rivets. But, you know, I was having to think on my feet. I was working with what I had here in the shop. And I think it turned out pretty good. The two metals do not match exactly. But I think even if this badge were original, the two pieces would not have weathered exactly the same way anyway. So I'm really happy with the result. Now, this is the last major piece I have to make for this machine. So I'm going to be starting final assembly on this right now and I will be posting the video on the full conversion as soon as I possibly can. But this weekend I'm going to be at Maker Faire Bay Area. It's my first Maker Faire. I'm really excited to go um, and, and, and there are going to be a lot of amazing speakers on the content creator stage which I think is new this year. So I'm probably going to be spending a lot of time hanging out there. If you see me, say hi. I'd love to chat. In the meantime, I'm going to finish this. See you soon.